Hello there, Tyrant here, and I just finished watching episode 3 of After the Rain. And so, <laughs> wow, um, okay, I'm not gonna lie, normally I would just do it immediately after watching the episode, but no, I've, uh, I've seen this episode twice in a row, more in, more in the way that I Um, in a little bit of disbelief like I'm gonna say this now it was a it was a very interesting but enjoyable episode um, like I said the show's visuals are amazing and I'll give them credit like every scene that's given is very like colorful uh, when they need to be and very uh, dull when the, the setting needs to be um, so this, this episode takes place j right after, um, Tachibana kind of, um, well, uh, confesses her feelings to, um, uh, Mr. Mondo. And, uh, so he, you know, like I said before, he took it like an average adult would from a young kid, a young adult, I would say. Uh, and like, oh, yeah, you know, I thought you, you know, that's normal, you know, like, I thought you hated me and everything, you know, like, oh, okay, thank you for, you know, not thinking I'm a shithead. Um, and, and she feels lost. Um, and, uh, and that's very understandable because she hasn't, what's interesting is that she hasn't felt like this before and not only that she's kind of also been uh from what we can tell rethinking her past because we have we, well, we get to see kind of her accident in this episode and uh from last um from the last episode we learned that it's been about six months since her her initial incident and everything so it's been a while since um since uh everything but now she's reminiscing of that, her feelings and everything, and her walk in the rain is very deep in thought. And uh, not only that, also when she was in the track, it was really just this scene. Like for for some people, it might feel like that was too prolonged, but no, I felt that it worked well enough and gave enough flashback to kind of give her that depth she needed and and she is not she's one of the least spoken characters i've seen in a while but when she does talk or says something uh it has meaning and i like how she's she may be very shy but she's forthcoming uh when she's kind of out there um and in the rain uh in front of the in front of the garden and once again confesses her love to well we'll say love uh her feeling anyway we'll say her, her feelings to him um it's i was i'm not gonna lie i was a bit surprised myself uh at that moment um i was probably as shocked as he was maybe uh like huh that's extremely so soon uh um i i i honestly thought the show was going to wait a little bit before she confessed her feelings for him again um uh, maybe like okay if she Honestly, I thought it was going to be like, okay, they're going to get probably a couple episodes in after the this incident. And like, oh, they start to see and she does it again. But no, it goes straight for the, the reveal. And well, Mr. Mondo doesn't know what to do at this point. You know, a um, 17-year-old just confess their feelings for him and at first he thinks the joke 
or possibly a joke or a prank and it's understandable um you know it's surprising did not come out of nowhere uh but once they're and he he also he gets nervous and very like very um i found that very uh, a little bit cheesy but it worked it worked for his character uh, but when they're alone in the office um you know he's working on the he's working on some some payroll stuff or something something manager like and she's just in there for her break eating um eating eating her probably lunch and she goes again and you know goes first for the kind of like the casual thank you for the gift he gave them to her parents earlier and then goes for like a straight punch and um confesses her feelings once more and asks for how he feels about him or how he feels about her and that's when things get real for him and he he's he's halted for a moment and uh, at, for for just that slight moment that slight moment i thought the show was gonna kind of end at that cliffhanger because it just felt so long like some episodes do and no it continued um he decides to take her to the train station to have a, you know a talk while they're on the road and you know he tries you know tries to be <laughs> an adult you know a 45 year old adult talking to a 17 year old you know like you know uh well yeah no you know you should going out with someone your own age and stuff and with stuff like that and she just she's so forthcoming and i really i really enjoy the the way they're taking this character and um <laughs> um and honestly i i don't know what to honestly think it's uh, because right after the car scene they kind of you know decide to take a walk and that's when kind of the real talk happens a little bit and i think most people would need to watch that scene to kind of get an idea of just how long it feels to be in those moments i would say you know he he has this young girl who to say the least is infatuated with him and he honestly doesn't know what to do he he's tried to kind of convince her that there is a huge age gap um that she should be dating someone her own age that he has no strong qualities and he kind of lets it slip you know he's he's that kind of goofy character where you know you know you'll be creeped out if we go on a date you know and like then it goes straight from there um and it's how do i put it it's it's going to be hard to kind of predict where the show's gonna go and how it's gonna be and I'm kind of happy about that it's hard to sometimes find a show where it's not so straightforward uh, and so similar to so many other ones it can have some yes I'm not gonna lie there 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 is some there but it's just been a while since I've seen a show like this. There's probably been some that I've just slipped my radar. But for me, this has been a while since I've seen a show like this. And I'm just going to see how things turns out for these two and the rest of the people. Because there seems there's a lot of other character plots in there that are being developed. Uh, like the track captain, um, her this uh other um uh, not potential boyfriend but the other boy who's infatuated with her um that possibly maybe the um, the 
what's her name? The other girl at the the garden. Her. We're just gonna have to wait and see how this goes. And um, and actually, this kind of does remind me of something, but that was a little bit more young dude, older woman. Can that work? Hmm. Maybe I should rewatch it and double check. But no. Um. Yeah, we're just yeah. Um. Very, very great episode. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see how this sh show progresses. Um, so, thanks again for watching. Until next time.